Now that school is officially over, a lot of you will be thinking about taking a summer vacation. But if you don't want to make that long drive to Florida, there's a place right here in Nashville that your kids will love visiting. And it might even get them interested in science. We've actually been in existence for over 72 years. And it was begun by Sergeant John Ripley Forbes, who was a sort of mover and shaker in the naturalist community. He's, he was actually renowned for starting over 200 different nature museums um, in about 30 different states. And after the war in 1945, he really wanted to do something for the children. And he uh, you know, got together a group of Nashville prominent citizens to build a science center, or to actually form a science center in the old Nashville building, downtown the old university building. Well, they moved here in 1974. And actually, it was really interesting because in 1952, in their old building, they opened one of the, the first actual planetarium in the state of Tennessee. And when they moved here, they built it to be a really the Cumberland Children's Science Museum. And um, it was a great place for kids to come and enjoy science and nature. In 2002, they changed the name from Cumberland Science Museum to the Adventure Science Center because they had shifted in terms of their purpose and their mission to be more of an interactive, exciting place for kids instead of just a, a museum. So it's more kid friendly, I guess you're saying, maybe than it wasn't. It was. And then also to try to serve a larger portion of the population, so kids and adults from age zero to 100. Where are we currently standing? Right now we are in Space Chase, which is one of my favorite places in the Science Center because it has so many wonderful things to do. There's planets behind me that you can see. There's also a digital globe. And on the globe, you can look at everything from atmospheric conditions to geology to, oh, just a, you know, a universe of possibilities. If someone has never been here before, obviously this isn't the only part of the museum. Give me a kind of a nutshell of some, other, some of the other really more popular uh, things about the museum that kids love. Well, it's jam-packed with science fun, and all of it is, is hands-on. So it's not like you're looking at things in cases. Um, we have Blue Max, which is, which is actually a simulation of riding in a, either a roller coaster or riding on in a jet plane. We have Imagination Playground for preschoolers, which is building blocks and doing things, but they're life-size blocks, so you could build towers and forts. Um, we have a brand new light bright a uh, wall, it's a giant light bright where you can explore the physics of light. Um, an actual vapor vortex, which is a tornado made out of vapor that you can touch. And an eight foot wave tank that you can experiment with creating tsunamis. So it sounds like the kids can find things to do here when they, once they get here, I would think. Oh yeah, people get here and they don't want to leave. There's so many things. There's over 170 different hands-on activities. As far as parents are concerned, I mean, why would they want to bring their child here, would you say? They would want to bring this place to this place because this place is the kind of place where you can learn and enjoy things with your child. It's not about, uh, you know, this is not just for kids. It's for adults and kids to learn together. And I think also one of their favorite things to do here is the Pseudicum Planetarium. Yes. A lot of people don't know this, but it is one of the best in the country. It's the only one in the Western Hemisphere to have this kind of hybrid projection system, which you can see like 6.5 million stars, it's amazing. Parents love this place because they can actually play with their kids. And those kids are sometimes five and they're sometimes 18 because we have everything from programming where you learn how to build robots and code and use 3D printers to like the preschool area. Currently we've just put in $150,000 worth of exhibits, okay. new brand new exhibits. and. That's been a real change for us. We're getting, we're moving into a new era. We're really focusing on technology and science and how those two interact and how you can use them to explore the world. We have a brand new giant plasma ball, which I didn't really realize this until they brought this in, but there are four states of matter. Um, the solid, liquid, gas, and plasma, which is what actually lightning is made out of. For those more adventurous, you can also climb to the top of the building. When you reach the top of the Adventure Tower, there are some spectacular views of downtown Nashville. For the kids, there's also a chance to see what it feels like to walk on the moon. As you can see from this video, it can't be easy. What kind of feedback do you guys get from parents when they have brought their children here, maybe the first time? I think children leave with a sense of awe. They are inspired about the world around them, and they're inspired to ask questions. and. They're inspired by the wonder of it all. 
um, there's so many exciting things just right around you every day, and I think it opens their eyes to those things. Do you think it makes them more interested in science in school as well? I think it does. I think they, they see how science relates to the real world. They see how the, all of the math and the geography and all of those things are actually use, used to solve problems and to prepare for events. Also, there's a big event, I think, taking place on August 21st, is that right? That's right, the total eclipse of the sun. It is the first one to, to sweep across the country since 1918, so it's going to be a major event. Um, it's the first one to hit Nashville in 500 years. So. <laughs> and what will you all do as a staff to, to celebrate that day? That day we're having a huge Music City Solar Eclipse Festival and it's actually running three days. So it's 19th, 20th and 21st of August. There'll be hundreds of exhibitors um, from science, music, technology, all of the different things that it, Nashville excels in. And there'll be live music, a huge stage, there'll be uh, contests, games, prizes, as well as showing of our original uh, Eclipse film that we produced for the Planetarium. The Adventure Science Center is open from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. daily. The address is 800 Fort Negley Boulevard in Nashville. If your child loves science, this would be a great place to visit. Reporting from Davidson County, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.